Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a site called Abado. So what is it? Well, it's an events planning site, but it's linked, but it can be linked with Teams. So if you're doing an online event, you can create an online event and have it linked to Teams. So lots of colleges are now looking at how can they do their open days? How can they get students in? How can they potentially have their creative arts courses, have the exhibitions and how can they schedule events and have them all in one place? Uh, myself as a learning development manager, I'm always on the look for sites that will allow me to schedule a range of events in one go. So think of it as an event bright plus with added functionality. So let's dive back in. So I go back to the home page. So you can log in with your Office 365 account if your college or school has an Office 365 account. When you log in, you can see the events that the organization has got scheduled. If I click on the three dots, I can alter the color for branding purposes so I can add a specific color and get it looking just as I want it to. I can also add logos, etc. The other thing I can do is I can fill out more comforting information. So I could add various information. If this was an external event, I could add links to social media feeds, etc. So that's what it looks like. I've got an event scheduled there. We can see events and we can see who's attending if people have signed up. So if I just click on the event just to show what a completed event looks like. So we've got a countdown and that's counting down to the event. We've got a link which will allow us to open it in Teams because we've set it as an online event. I can see who the organizer is and there's an email contact there. I can see who the speakers are. I can see I've got one attended to confirm me so far and I'd be able to see the schedule. Uh, I've only put part of the schedule in, but I'd be able to see the schedule there. So that's what it looks like. If I hit the edit tab, I can, if it's a public event, I can share it. So just to, yeah, so I click on the LinkedIn one. If I, if I copy that, toggle over to LinkedIn and hit space, it automatically formats it for me so I can share it via my social media feeds. So that's quite a nice feature for external events. So we're going to jump back, we'll discard that for the moment, jump back to this. So that's quite nice that you can share it like that. If we click on data collection, you can have a, a, a preview of who's in attendance. So I'm going to close that for the moment. Scroll down, keep scrolling down, and I can look at st statistics. So I can able to see unique visits and who's attending. Once the event's gone, I'd be able to see more information about who was in attendance as well. So let's go through and set out a new event. So I'm gonna go back to the home page, And from the home page, I'm gonna click a new event. And you can see we've got two choices. We've got a virtual one in Microsoft Teams or an in-person one where you can put the location in Google Maps. So I'm gonna do a virtual Teams one. So we'll call it demo and select virtual teams. I can then just very simply by adding to, by typing on the text there, I can edit when the event is. Files wise, I can attach a file. So what have I got here? I've got something, I'll just, I could put in the description and click add. So info. So I'll put in the description and click add. Now I've mistakenly clicked on a rather large file, which is why it's taking a few minutes. Typically you'd be uploading PDFs or maybe a PowerPoint. That's actually a video. So you can see it's recognized the file format. And I've got a choice, visibility, visible before and after the event or just after the event. So for example, if you wanted to upload slide decks, they could be made available immediately after the event without you having to, to go and do that. You could add them at the point of setup 
or if it's just information, maybe more detailed information about the presenters, maybe bio, you could have it available. So you can choose whether it's available before or after the event, which is really useful. And you can add additional files. So all of the files related to the event could appear there. What I really like is the available after the event function. So that's great. I can preload all of my presentations and then they're immediately available. When colleagues return after the event, they go there and they can see that. I can now start editing and adding my agenda information. So I can click there and click on add a session. And we've got different things. We could add the registration. And again, I click on the text. I could put in the location for that. I can add a file, I could add a person, or I could just delete. I can then add something else. So we're gonna have a session. So again, I just click on the text. And then enter a description. And again, I could add a speaker and I could add files. So I could keep building up my agenda throughout the day. So maybe have a break then. And I could carry on doing that. I could add another day if it was multiple days. I could invite colleagues to be speakers or add external speakers just by clicking on the thing. So if I click add speaker, so I'm a speaker and then I can invite colleagues to be speakers. So I'm gonna close that for the moment. So, so far I've got my agenda, I've got my speakers. Um, and then all I need to do is send them the link and they can access, um, tell them to log in with Abado and they'll be able to see, once they log on with the college thing, they will be able to see the events that are within Activate. As I said, shared at the start, if I was to make it a public event, then I could share that via social media. So they have it, a really easy to use site, great way to set out what's happening in your organization. If I go back, who oh, did I save it? Let's see, there we are. So you can see the nearest one is showing, but if I flick through, it should let me view other events. I'm not sure what's happening there. Anyway, if I scroll down, I can see the, the other events that are scheduled. So I hope you found the video useful. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.